Hey everybody, it's Lucky Jack Toy, and welcome back to the Let's Play of Benjo Tui, and I'm gonna use the Shack Pack to go on the side of this pool of water, so I wanna talk really fast for the next five minutes. No, I'm not gonna do that. <sighs> for those of you who cannot hear that, I'm saying I'm Lucky Jack 20 in the Let's Play Banjo Banjo Tui, and I'm using the Shack Pack to get this big old steaming fish. Why? I don't know, it's probably gonna be, be useful later. Just burn myself. Ow. I sound so motionless, it's not even funny. We are getting so close with the gingos though. Okay, going back to my acting mode. <sighs> Okay, that call steam up there, I'm probably gonna head there in the next part or so, but there's plenty of things to do on the on the other side of the mountain I'm heading to. But I'm gonna go this way, because there are some notes we haven't gotten yet. Okay, I'm not falling for you guys. Move. Alright, seven. Thirty, not too bad, not too shabby. Alright, let's head over to the icy side of the mountain now. This hellfire piece, oh man, this whole fire side, this is only half of what the whole area we're trying to go through. Hey, it's those aliens from Jolly Rogers Lagoon. You sure it's safe to be spinning like that? Yeah, you think? Uh oh. It's not working. That can't be good. Oh no. He's dead. No. And we only knew him for a short amount of time. Alright, now I'll say this. Eric9794, thank you. He has told me that not only in Dragon Kazoo you can be fire, your fire eggs are unlimited. You can fire as many of them as, as you want, and I find that excellent, so thank you. Hmm. First we're looking for, there he is. But yes, I'll definitely be using that ultimate fire thing later. Anyway. Bigglefoot. But how can those be your, you mean the claw clamber boots? Really? Okay. Well, remember how Chili Billy kept throwing fireballs at us because we were on his mountain? Okay, Chili Willy, the other big guy. Come on, there you are. Ha! Yeah, we're on your mountain. What are you gonna do about it? Come on, right here, aim for me. Right here, right in the kisser. Come on. You don't have the guts to shoot an ice ball. Come on, one shot. Oh, you missed me. Ouch. That was a loud yell. Snap. I mean, you think an avalanche would have started, but anyway. So now he'll leave, and now we can use these claw clamber boots. Let's get him. Alright, now we gotta run really quickly over this side. Oh, shoot, I forgot Chili Billy's still shooting at us. We better take care of that. Gonna walk around this guy. Here we go. Turn up these boots, little pads. Now, where's the big one? There it is. This should lead us up to Chili Willy's Cavern, right up the top. And then we'll be in both of them, got us ourselves a jiggy, and we'll be able to move around with freedom. Okay, I'm gonna get some uh, hunting homes, because I know uh, it's icy. Shoot, that's gonna be a pain. I hate icy floors. Ask any, see any of my games. I hate icy floors. Like my arch nemesis. Anyway. No, icy floors is a stupid arch nemesis, really. Come on. Anyway. But yeah, kind of like how we use ice eggs on the chili billy obviously chili willy probably gonna need fire eggs must be the pizza delivery boy that be on my poor brother true yes please i ordered an anchovy deluxe and my voice sounds so much different anyway i'm sure you have given me my pizza all right this guy's you can already tell by his health meter a lot tougher we have fire eggs unlimited of them Ha! And we can fire three eggs at once now, instead of only being able to fire two like last time. Okay, moving. But yeah, he's basically... I, I don't know if it... I don't know if it can change, like, depending on which one you fight first. But all I know is... Oh, he got me, but... Depending on which dragon you fight first, the second one, or in this case, it's always probably is going to be for me. Chili Wi Willy is always going to be pretty much twice as tough. No, actually, not twice as tough. Um... Yeah, actually, yeah, he has twice as much health, and he's a lot faster, as you can see. 
Okay. But all you gotta do is just run and fire three shots off each cannon and move on to the next one. Just keep on moving. Couldn't be simpler. Oh, I didn't want to do the build drill. Not there. It's the worst time to do it. Alright, let's keep moving. Run. Keep them moving. Keep them coming. Keep them coming. Alright, I'll see your ice egg and raise you three fireballs. Stop it. I don't want peace anymore. I'll go and get a takeout instead. Hey, hey, we beat both you fair and square. We need something in return. Mm, how about this? Yeah, that should be do about fine. And off he goes with his tiny body again. Don't ask me. Alright. There you go. That's the big boss of this place done, and what a cool boss it was. Don't get me wrong, it's really easy. Okay, that was close. Note to self, do not ground pound off of the uh, edge of the mountain onto the platform. I'm just gonna slide on down really quickly here. Save my time. Open this warp pad, but um, don't get me wrong, it was an easy boss, but that, that, that is pretty epic of a boss, like the whole setup in the music, anyway. Go to these platforms over here. Oh, we got some notes. And we can use our fire to cook them. You can also use any attack, but come on, the fire is the fire looks pretty cool. He Alright, there's that done for now. Just gonna be running away from them because I won't be get hit. Here are two other ice cube note things. Alright, and I also believe the fire scares away the big old uh, Yeti guys coming after you, so you know, keep that in mind. Whoa, an igloo. I'll definitely have to check that out. Okay, moving, moving, moving. Okay. Ha, got out of that in time. Luckily, they lack the ability to climb up small five foot inches of ice. Alright. Whoa, big ice cube. Hey, young man, I'm Mildred Ice Cube, but I seem to have missed one. Really? Okay, I don't have time for this for a Jinjo. No, I'm not going to look for him. You know, I'm not doing this for a Jinjo. Sorry, but screw you, lady. Die. Oh, well, we also got all the blue Jinjo, so... Yeah, I know it was really cruel. I'm very sorry, but... You may Actually, that's the way you have to progress through the game. That is the only way to get that Jinjo. You have to blow her up. So, sadly to say, we have to be cruel. But anyway, that's a rare game for you. Oh, it's boggy! This music sounds from. Oh, I guess for the uh, nostalgic uh, players, the music in the background is the Freeze Easy Peak theme again. 100 Hertz? Dolby 50 surrounds? Oh my god! That's enough of that, though. No online shopping. What do you want from us? A hot fish? I think we have a big hot fish. We just picked up. What the? Oh, he's choking. Give me the Heimlich. Oh, okay, we don't need the Heimlich. A Jiggy? Hmm. What do you know? Alright. Yeah, I just add to the rest of the group. It's kind of sad our old friend Buggy would be reduced to this, but... Oh well, let's just keep moving on. Now, what else can we do on this icy side? Well, now that we're down here, this is basically uh, where the alien guys got, um, kind of crash landed. So, I think I will pay the, uh, what are they called? Oh, I'll, I'll, well, we can pay the old uh, magician, magic people a good visit. Being that we're going to need them to, um, you know, progress. But we have some notes here. More. Uh, and I'll get the fireworks back on. Oh, okay. I'm probably gonna be actually just using fireworks for the rest of the game, like like my regular race, because it's awesome. You can use as many you want. Anyway, got a fire outside of the wigwam, but I'm actually gonna be, not gonna be using Humba this time. What we can do, however, is a little secret passageway right in here. We can use. You're supposed to come in through the other way, but now I'll. Well, 
It's work. It serves its purpose this way too. Take our grenade eggs out. We are ba this is basically a little secret passway between Mumbo and Humba Wumba, which is the only way to pretty much get around these areas. So, going to, you know, I think for the first time in a while, I'm going to speed this all up because we've already seen this co this conversation many times before. Yes, guess we're going to give you the gold ball. We're going to give you that gold ball. We're going to go. We're going to give you the chair. We're going to drop out of the chair. Jump out of the chair. Jump out of the chair. Jump out of the chair. I'm not even preparing the beast. Talking really fast. I'm just talking really fast just to add to the effect. And we're running. Okay. I don't know why I do that anymore. No one cares if I talk really fast during the speedy parts because it doesn't even sound like it. Oh well, I, oh, well, I also get to show you what happens if you walk in Humba's Wumba's Wigwam as Mumbo. Apparently I have a rivalry thing going on here. Okay, sheesh. I don't want to even talk with you anyway. We got bigger problems. For instance, we have an alien who's dead. So yeah, how about that? Well, anyway. Which is the awesome thing about kind of the most epic one of Mumbo's spells in this, uh, what do you call, area. Okay, want to be careful here. Okay. Break it. And let's use the Mumbo Pad. Oh, come on. Are you down yourself down at this point anyway? Life Force, that's right. He has the ability to bring back people from the dead. There's a, obviously a lot of controversial things going on here, but anyway. Hey, what? Spaceman, no, great for waste mumbo's type. We should do that. We should teach that. Okay, so you need the, your three children. They escaped the ship when, cra when they crashed the lagoon. So we need to find them around this mountain. Hmm. We do like gifts. I wonder what the gift's gonna look like out of all things. So wait, where are the kids now? Hmm. So there's one there. It's hard to see with this ice effect and my crappy screen capture. Um, that's another thing I'm working on. I'm trying to work on gain. Um, there's that one, but I'm trying to get Fraps working on my computer. But the problem is, it only records the video in nice, cool, high quality. It doesn't record the sound. I'm trying to. F that, that's the main thing I'm trying to work. On. I'm trying to figure out how to get sound recording as well, like a good sound recorder. That's cheap and or free. Because free, I do, I, I do like free things, but um, that's pretty much all I'm working on. Then if I can get that, then I could be making these videos and they would look amazing. Like none of this glitchy pixel flying what wet way would look actually decent. Really? So steps. That's what I really want to do. I want to be able to do that. But if you guys know any like good sound recorders, not, I don't want really any like the screen I already got fraps. I need something that can record sound. So if you guys can figure out a way to do that, I got like an old version of fraps, I think. I don't know, but Saberman. I think it was from another one of Rare's games, Saberman. It was called Saber Wolf. But anyway, well, there you go. Hmm. That's interesting. Many thanks, young sir. Why, I've been frozen in there since session 84. No one thinks seen crazy old men before. It's quite possible. I've come from a golden age where wolves were kings. The name Saberman. Venturing is my game. Or at least was. What cable man doing? That curse of Saber Wolf chased me all the way here where I was frozen in my tracks by the ice dragon. The cold, could you see a way to warm me up? Now, yeah, Bumble doesn't have any power to do that, but I think we have some fire rakes that can do the trick later. I think that's pretty much it. So, yep, that's pretty much it for Mumble actually. Now, we've already done the. You can only do it in this area those times. So, time to return him into his uh, prominently placed chair. Anyway. So, there is one more time we can use it, I realized. But. That'll be in the next part. Anyway, so I just need a sound recorder. Got to find. I'm, I'm still looking for one, and then I can make cool, better videos for things like this, like ones that can even rival Kingdom Hearts in comparison. Finally, but anyway, so uh, 
well, I'm just gonna put Mumbo back in his chair. Where is his chair? I love it. I love the fact that no matter how dark or how bright the lighting is outside, when you go in Mumbo's skull, it's always the same like midday lighting inside, no matter what happened. Oh well. All right. We don't have a Globo for Wumba though, and I really want to use her transformation. I'm gonna see if I can get it before the video ends, but now we'll Let's see if we can get the Globo quickly. I can even hopefully get the, one of the uh, people that first we can break this ice here with the bill drill to get the first alien free. Come on. Uh, beat them. Oh, no. Huh. I guess this one's dead, too. Well, there you have it. The other time we have to use Mumbo's life force, so we just have to go back to the same area and should work. But, so yeah, that's not going to work. Well, well, we can at least get the other one over here. It's going to hop up here. Really? Okay, let's just go this way. Yeah, I'm ready for you. Gotcha. All right. And the globe was right next to the one, right next to the other alien. Oh, come on. I barely touched it. Okay, we'll get that. And I'm going to get this honeycomb because I don't want to be dying stupidly now. A stupid manner. There we go. First alien freed. There you go. He'll head over to the uh, Papa alien or Mama. I cannot tell gender. All right. Okay, this is gonna take forever. Oh, really? I'm not dealing with you right now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go the slow way. Yeah. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna head back to Wumbo's movement. I'm just gonna prepare for, um... You know what? Health doesn't matter for the form we're taking. And what that is, we'll have to find the next time. So until then, I'm Lucky Jack 20 doing the Let's Play of Banjo-Tooie. Mm, I guess in the next part, we're gonna do more of the stuff here in Hailfire Peaks on this side. And I'll be able to show you Humba's new transformation. So...